Brandon is the brightest student in his college. The next evening after graduation, he received this mysterious letter. The note said, We have a job for you. He turned the note around and saw this message. Brandon cracked this encoded puzzle right away. What about you? Brandon's job interview will take place in a greenhouse at midnight. Brandon arrived at the meeting point. He looked around and saw a gardener lying unconscious on the floor. Brandon called the police. Experts said that someone had poisoned the gardener. Brandon called three people and questioned what they were doing today. Allie, the gardener's assistant, said, Today was my day off. I've spent all my time at a pool party with my friends. The gardener's wife, Lily, said, Oh my, I can't visit him immediately. I'm on a business trip in Rome. And the gardener's boss, Dan, said, I had lunch with him today, and he looked perfectly fine. Brandon spotted who was lying right away. What about you? Lily is lying. Take a look at her hotel window. Can you see the Eiffel Tower? She's not in Rome, but in Paris. After solving this case, Brandon received a message. Congratulations, you've passed the first stage. See you in the basement. Brandon went downstairs and faced this combination lock. Now he needs to open the door to move on to the next level of his job interview. Can you help him crack the code? Take a look at the note near the door. It's a hint. The correct password is opinion. Brandon entered a huge office and saw this guy. He said, Nice to meet you, Brandon. I'm Mr. Green. My wife and I have six sons. Each son has one sister. Can you count all members of my family? Brandon nailed it right away. What about you? Nine, Mr. Green, Mrs. Green, Hello. six sons, and one daughter. The daughter is a sister to all six sons. Brandon's next task is to solve a robbery case. Last night, someone smashed a window in the local bank office to break in. Oh, the cleaner was inside, so he ran to call for help. He saw that the robbers had taken the money and busted the door open to escape when he got back. He tried to clean the mess, and some glass fragments got stuck in his sleeves. Brandon looked over the crime scene. He knew for sure that the cleaner was lying. But what exactly gave him away? The window glass, the door, or the cleaner's appearance? The door frame was broken outwards, indicating that whoever was inside broke out, which fits the story. The glass can shatter in all directions. Still, not enough evidence to prove that the cleaner's lying, but his arms are covered in glass. He did say that he was cleaning up, but those tiny shards indicate he was standing very close to the window when it was broken. And, probably, he was the one who had smashed it. After solving this case, Brandon received the next task, to make this equation correct by moving just one matchstick. Do you have any ideas? In fact, there are three possible answers. Okay, let's see. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 5 plus 4 equals 9. And 0 plus 4 equals 4. Mr. Green offered Brandon to look through some crime scene photos. Brandon asked him, In which one of these buildings is the new crime scene? Mr. Green said, The closest one. All right. Can you help him spot which of these buildings is closer? This building has blocked out the pattern of railings on the right-hand building. Therefore, it's closer. And if you look very attentively, you can also see the satellite dish obscuring the other building. To accomplish the next task, Brandon needs a laptop. Can you help him enter the correct password? Here's a clue. 
It's a five-letter word that includes two different vowels and three similar consonants. It's so strong that it can spoil your entire work. Can you guess the word? It's an error. Brandon saw this picture on the screen. His task is to spot which direction the car is moving, left or right. Can you help him? Neither right nor left. The car isn't moving because it doesn't have any wheels. Here's the next task for Brandon. Mr. Green bought a phone for $100. Then he sold it to Sam for $125. After a year, he bought it back from Sam for $150. After using it for a month, he sold it back to Sam for $175. Can you calculate if this entire deal was profitable for Mr. Green? In the first deal, Mr. Green made a profit of $25 from Sam. Mr. Green got a $25 profit again from Zach in the second deal. Therefore, the entire deal was profitable for Mr. Green, and he made a total profit of $50. Brandon woke up in a forest. He wandered around for a while and met these three ladies. They all claimed that they had gotten lost in the woods two months ago. Can you spot any liars among them? The easiest way to solve this task is to look at their hair. The first lady has long blonde hair with brown roots, which means that she hasn't been to the hairdresser for a while. The third lady has naturally black hair, which has probably been growing out the same way. But the second lady has a fresh haircut and green colored roots, which means she has recently visited a hairdresser. Therefore, she's probably a criminal trying to blend in with the others to hide from justice. After a short walk, Brandon found a huge villa in the forest. The owner of this villa was just found unconscious. Brandon has to examine the crime scene and determine the possible suspects. Ooh. Three housekeepers, Mary, Wendy, and Jane, were the only people who were around at the time when the owner felt sick. What? Strangely, they all had red stains on their hands. Hmm. Mary said, These stains on my outfit are just red paint. I was painting the benches in the garden. Wendy said, My stains are from the nail polish. And Jane said that she had spilled grape juice on her uniform. Can you spot any liars? Take a closer look at the grape juice Jane is holding. As you can see from the label, it's a white grape juice. That drink wouldn't leave a red stain. Also, all benches in the garden are blue which means Mary had lied. After lunch, Brandon fell asleep. He woke up and found himself in jail. He began to look for a way out and found three doors. The first exit is guarded by angry dogs. They haven't eaten for nine months, so they're very hungry. The second exit is guarded by a family of dragons. And finally, a group of guards is waiting behind the third door. No prisoner can escape from them. Which exit should Brandon choose? He should choose the first way. If the dogs haven't eaten for nine months, they're probably too weak to stop Brandon from escaping. Brandon and Mr. Green entered an elevator to get to the final step of the interview. Brandon spotted three odd things about this elevator right away. What about you? The eighth floor is missing. The mirror reflects Brandon but it doesn't remember Mr. Green. The sign says that this elevator's weight limit is zero pounds. Mr. Green took Brandon to his office and showed him his jewelry collection. Mr. Green said, I have one final puzzle for you. If you solve it, you're hired. When I was your age, I collected white gems in the mountains and brought them home every evening. When I've accumulated enough gems, I decided to sell them. The local jeweler said, I'm ready to buy your gems. How many stones do you have? 
So I began to calculate. I bought a huge box that contained three mini boxes, and two of them had another mini box inside. So if the huge box can hold 50 gems, how many blue gems did I sell to the jeweler? Brandon nailed it and got the job. What was his reply? Mr. Green was collecting white gems, so he couldn't sell any blue gems to the jeweler. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.